check, my check. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE needs to cancel Raw in 2021. It's so bad by none other than WrestleMania. I saw he dropped this in uh, the sub box, the sub feed, and I knew I wanted to check this out. So I'm gonna check this out with you guys. I already know this is going to be a good video. It has over 4.8K likes. Like, I think we can all agree, Raw is not good. I have not watched Raw in so long. I barely even watched the YouTube clips on Raw. It's, it's not even really worth watching. Uh, when I stream, you guys will come in the stream and, and tell me, how bad raw is or you guys won't even like y'all y'all make little jokes like this is way better than monday night raw and i believe you guys because the show is just it's a shell of its former self you know i, I remember watching raw like around the 2011 2012 2013 era and it wasn't all perfect i, I do think the three hour format format has really like it, it it creates wrestling fatigue because at the end of the day you don't want to be watching a show for three hours every week to be watching rematches so you know there were some interesting things on raw during that era 2010 through like maybe 2015 you know there was some interesting stuff that you wanted to catch but now lately it's just it's not there's not many interesting storylines you want to catch i believe drew mcintyre is supposed to be Going against Bobby Lashley at Hell in a Cell for the WWE Championship again. Like, like they, I don't know what's going on. It's like, are there any other main eventers that could possibly go against Bobby Lashley? Like, what's going on here? I don't know. But Raw is not good. SmackDown is leagues better. And that's only because Roman Reigns has made that the must-see show. And they're, they have better mid-card feuds from what I can tell. But... Right now, Raw is the bottom of the barrel. So we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's see what WrestleMania has to uh, say about this. To Monday Night Raw. Remember when those words were so exciting when yep. Vince McMahon used to scream them in the late 90s? Well, lately, Raw hasn't been fun. In fact, every week it becomes more and more grueling to watch. This week's episode of Raw literally had fans groaning as Alexa Bliss seemingly killed Shayna Baszler in a backstage segment. Fans and critics alike discussed how this was one of the worst endings ever on Raw and the overall show was little better. As we've seen, there seems to be no end to- What's going on with that? I, I heard something, somebody was mentioning that in my stream about Alexa Bliss with the little doll now. I, I don't know what's going on with that, and honestly, I don't want to check it out, to be honest with you. I just think it's a little bit cringe now. Now she has the powers of the fiend. I, I don't know. Don't care. How bad Raw can get or how low the ratings can go. However, at some point, the WWE is going to have to face the facts that Raw has gone as far as it can go. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at why Raw needs to be cancelled. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive yeah, lists. Subscribe to them, man. WrestleMania create dope content. Subscribe to them. Now, before we look at the reasons why Raw needs to be put out of its misery, like taking it behind the barn and giving it that good old goodbye, it's crucial to establish some facts and dispel myths about the Red Brand's relationship with the USA Network. Firstly, the ratings are a concern. I don't let the WWE or anyone else fool you, Raw's ratings are dropping, and not due to the ever-growing number of alternative programming competing for viewers. While Raw's ratings continue to go downhill, WWE supporters argue that Raw's ratings are still competitive with other cable programming, often coming in first on cable in terms of viewers and the ever-important 18-49 to 49 age demographic. WWE enthusiasts argue that Raw's dropping viewership is consistent with all television programming as more programming, whether it's on traditional television, streaming or YouTube, splinter the audience. But that doesn't seem to be true though, as the decrease in Raw's ratings have been greater than other programming on the USA Network. And while we aren't going to break down things statistically, Raw is losing its audience faster than other US- That, that, that makes sense. That, that makes sense. I get how some people are, they'll try to, you know, say, oh, well, people check out the YouTube clips, so that's why people don't check out Raw as much. I mean, you could say that, 
But at the end of the day, for those who don't check out the clips, I think people are just tuning out to it because they're just not finding the product entertaining. So, you know, it they find it if it's more digestible for them to check out YouTube clips than watching a three hour show of a bunch of rematches, then sure, people will do that. And then eventually, if they just see the same clips they saw last week, nothing interesting. Guess what? They'll stop watching that, too. You know, so. Programming, which shows fans are tuning out for reasons other than there are more alternatives. The USA has been tolerant of Raw's decreased ratings, but they have made requests for changes to boost the ratings, which means they're less likely to pay the same rates as they currently do if they even decide to stick with the WWE programming in the future. Mm. If you don't think things are quite bad, well, Brian Alvarez recently reported that Raw did an average of 1.64 million viewers. Damn. Remember when 2 million was bad? If another form of programming begins eating into Raw's ratings, such as a hit reality show, things will only get bleaker. Mm -hmm. Number two, the party's over. Now we hate to break it to the WWE, but the pandemic party is over. While Vince McMahon mm -hmm. and the WWE deserve accolades for turning the corona apocalypse into a corporate cash cow, things are getting back to normal as the WWE looks to bring back fans. Yep. With the WWE returning to live events, including the questionable revival of house shows, the company's expenses are going to offset the savings it made in 2020 and 2021 by not running live events. The WWE was able to bring in its greatest profits ever, but the company is in for a serious reality check as yep. it adds the cost of touring, promoting house shows, and doing more with less thanks to the drastic cuts in the wrestling roster and personnel. Now it's highly likely the WWE will initially do well as people are eager to do anything to get out of the house after a year of being stuck at home. However, once things settle down to normal, the WWE is going to face the same problems it had before the pandemic. Poor attendance at house shows, pay-per-view. I, that's an accurate prediction. I can see that happening. People are going to be very excited to come back. So those first couple of shows where fans are allowed, oh, they're going to be packed. A lot of people are going to be there because they haven't been to a wrestling show. But after those first couple of shows, like maybe their first few weeks, it's going to start dying out. Unless they keep it, they keep the momentum going and they, they put on interesting matches and good storylines. Outside of that, it's going to die out like it was before the pandemic, where there's going to be a lot of people that's not showing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to be selling as many tickets as you would think they should be. So, views and raw broadcasts. The pandemic showed what happens when superstars were out of action, such as when wrestlers had to quarantine while recovering from COVID, and it wasn't pretty. The WWE had to run multiple matches with the same superstars and scramble to salvage storylines. Mm -hmm. With wrestlers working multiple days a week, expect more injuries and unlike the past where absences on the roster led to wrestlers getting the chance to set up, the WWE will likely continue its policy of putting things into a holding pattern. Knowing Raw isn't as bulletproof as WWE loyalists believe, let's look at it's reasons why it needs to be cancelled. Now bear in mind, we aren't saying that WWE should cancel Raw and leave Mondays empty, we're saying it's time to retire Raw and create a new show. Number mm. 1. Raw is irreparably broken The Red Brand is a 3 hour horror show that has gone through numerous revamps and other pitiful attempts to fix the sagging ratings, yep. none of which have been successful. Whether it's Raw Underground, the WWE Superstar Exchange, oh, or repeated man. claims to... Who remembers Raw Underground? I remember they they tried to get that off the ground, no pun intended, and that went literally nowhere. Like, they stopped doing it after a few weeks. Like, Raw Underground was supposed to be like this underground, raw, uncut, just guys fighting each other. Like, it was just... It didn't last. It didn't work. They... It... They tried. They gave it their best effort, I guess, but it didn't work. So, yeah, Raw Underground was not a success like people probably wanted it to be. It's not the wrestlers' faults as Raw has a fantastic array of superstars. They do. A broken tag division, weak women's roster, and an underwhelming undercard are nothing new, and they've shown no sign of fixing these problems. Simply put, the WWE needs to start over and find a way to create a captivating show for the 21st century. Number 2. Raw's reputation is ruined mm. The WWE can claim that Monday Night Raw is the longest running weekly episodic program this in the US, but its reputation today among fans is a television show that is a pale shell of its former self. Many fans would argue that the WWE has been living off its reputation for years, and Raw epitomizes this. 
The red brand is a bloated mess that rarely can keep fans around for its second and third hours, which shows just how poorly the WWE books its so-called flagship show. If they can't keep some of its core audience tuned in, how does it expect to bring in new viewers? This well, the answer is simply it can't. Number 3. The WWE Faces a Major Embarrassment now, Is the USA Network going to cancel Raw? Well, probably not because the show continues to bring in enough ratings, mm -hmm. but at some point the WWE is going to face the reality that the USA Network won't pay for Raw anymore, or at least pay far less than what it does now. Now we've discussed this briefly before, but it's important to remind fans that networks, cable and traditional networks, are being charged more and more for content and it's not going to change. Number 4. Monday Nights Need a Fresh Start There's nothing wrong with Monday Night Wrestling. In fact, the WWE has been running wrestling on Monday nights since the days when the Madison Square Garden Network broadcast live matches from the Mecca of Professional Wrestling, followed mm -hmm. by Primetime Wrestling's debut on USA in 1984. I gotta hit yeah, I, I'm 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 okay with them having you know Monday Night Wrestling. I'm I'm all for that. You know, keeping that, but they gotta. It has to be a big change. What what they're doing now, it's not helping. It's not working clearly. You know, it's 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 stale, and you can't blame it on the pandemic now because SmackDown is still much more digestible to watch. I do think they need to go back to the two hour format. I think. You put on the most important storylines. Granted, not everybody's going to get the shine that they need or deserve at the time. But you can rotate people. Put that two-hour format. I miss Raw being at two hours. It it made it, you know what I'm saying, like what you saw in there was important and urgent. These three-hour rematch fest, nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to sit through on their Monday night after working all day come home to watch raw for three hours to see the same thing they saw last week to see the same thing they saw the week before like nobody wants to see that it's not the tradition of tuning in on monday nights but the product itself people can point to the wwe struggling against monday night football but during the attitude era this wasn't a problem because the product was must-see television yep. they should build off monday night's legacy as a night to watch wrestling by creating a new program built to appeal to today's fans as well as legacy fans the WWE's fan base is an older fan base, but unlike past generations, they've done a poor job bringing in new fans, at least enough to grow the business. Now, Roy isn't going to become dynamite, but it might want to consider some of what makes NXT appealing to younger fans while also keeping the current Raw roster. And number 5. Mondays Need a Break A Monday nights might benefit from a short, no more than a month pause while the WWE builds up its new program. Raw's replacement will need more than a new set. It will need a new approach to booking including a focus on building new stars and long-term storylines. Mm -hmm. SmackDown has shown that the WWE can do this, although the blue brand is by no means perfect. Yeah. A short break is a good way to build up interest in the new show and the first week will likely draw a number of curious fans. The challenge of course is to make the show exciting enough to bring them back the next week. While a break may seem like a bad idea, the reality is that WWE did just that when it adjusted between running shows in front of fans and running empty arena shows at the Performance Center. Keep fans interested by running pay-per-view matches, hype videos on wrestlers and interviews with wrestlers to spotlight which wrestlers the WWE intends to focus on during their new program. Now, sadly, right now, Raw can't get much worse. But the <laughs> WWE's current financial situation makes it likely the company is unwilling to make the changes necessary to improve or start over, no matter how bad it gets. Unfortunately, it might not get the chance to do so on its own, and as we've mentioned, the WWE could take a financial hit if the USA Network were to cancel it or refuse to pick it back up. But there you have it, guys. Why Raw needs to be cancelled? What do you guys think? Let yeah, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh... It's one of those type of situations where the product is just for raw at least it's it's so stale and lifeless like it's it's one of those things where it's like even though aew dynamite they don't get as many ratings as you know wwe monday night raw you know but from what i can tell people just genuinely like watching that program more than monday night raw and it's it's gotten to this point where honestly if you want to be honest here if i had to rank the shows um i would give nxt i would probably i would probably give nxt 
a slight edge over SmackDown, just a little bit, only because NXT to me has the better in ring wrestling. So I like the in ring wrestling, but I give them a slight edge over SmackDown. Uh, the saving grace for SmackDown is Roman Reigns. He's one of the reasons why people even watch SmackDown, to be honest with you. So, you know, and it has to be more than just one thing or one major thing that's bringing people to the show. So, you know, even though the in-ring wrestling is not bad there, I think it's much better in NXT. So I would give SmackDown the second. And then, of course, Raw is at the bottom barrel, bottom of the bottom. Raw is awful. It's not watchable, and they have to do something to fix it. I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe WrestleMania is right, man. Maybe they do need to take like a, a couple weeks off to do a revamp. And we're not just talking about making the stage look fancy. There needs to be different ways people are booked. Storylines need to be more focused on interesting storylines, not cringe stuff. But I doubt they're going to do that, honestly. Uh, it's one of those type of things where the only way things will change and Vince will actually you know request a change within the management and everything else that goes on is their money got to, their pockets got to get hurt usa has to say hey bro if you don't change this around we're dropping you after our contracts up we're canceling you we're dropping you something like that major will have to happen before i think we get a major change on monday night raw, monday night raw. so comment down below let me know are any of you guys still watching Monday Night Raw? Let me know. I would like to get your thoughts and opinions on it. And if you are, I'm sorry. Why are you punishing yourself like that? But appreciate all the love and support. Road to 50K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.